This morning we're going to continue part three of our series uh, where the Fasten Management Studio Slow in Application. I'm going to be dealing with procedures specifically today. The first thing uh, that I want to do is we're going to discuss query plans where that's at. So I'm going to free the procedure cache. I'm going to show you that when I uh, this query, which you'll definitely want to keep, to save this query, um, it's empty, of course. Now, when I execute this procedure and I look at the query cache, you'll notice that it will have the query plan saved. And we're going to be highlighting this right here: statement set options. One of these options you'll see is Arithabort, and you'll see that it's set to true, and that will be important later on. But for now understand that this is how you can get query plan information if you remove p name and you remove this inner join here um, you'll be able to get everything for queries as well I'm only looking at stored procedures uh, for now so what we're going to do here is I'm going to quickly build a dot app, dot net application which is going to call that same stored procedure and the reason is because we're going to compare what happens when dot net um, when .NET connects to SQL Server versus, or when it calls, I should say, a stored procedure versus when um, uh, Management Studio does. So, I am going to build this really fast, and we're just going to call that procedure. The other thing about this, I will say, is that a lot of people will have a various approach to things for instance there is a, a quick fix solution and then there is a long uh, solution and um, it depends on your environment but I really would avoid debates because one of the biggest nightmares that I've seen with a lot of individuals is that they will um, they'll turn everything into a fight and then pretty soon nothing is getting done because people are angry about the fight that they had and it can be something as simple as you know the way that you um, you know the way that you connect to the .NET application you're going to set Arithabort on and we don't want to do that and at the end of the day I, I'm like look if you if that's how you want to proceed on your application then you can go for it and uh, okay so we're going to connect to SQL Server and we're going to call that stored procedure which is execute stp move and then we are going to execute the query non-query I should say and then we're going to close the connection to SQL Server okay all right so we have as you if we go back to this really fast, so we have one plan, right? And this is kind of the problem. So we go ahead and we're going to call this in this application. And we're going to check out. And you'll see now we have two plans. Okay, so let's look at this plan. And again, look, Arithabort is false. That was the first one. Let's look at the second one. Arithabort is true. Now, what will happen here, and this is where now I wanted to demonstrate this. I shot a video without the, the .NET application. I realized it's kind of incomplete. So what will happen? We have the same stored procedure, but .NET, uh, .NET applications by default set Arithabort to false. So it set Arithabort off, basically, whereas in Management Studio, it set Arithabort on. So essentially, what SQL Server is doing, which we may not realize, abort, is setting it on by default in .NET applications it's off by default okay so one of the quick fix solutions and you'll see this is and I'm gonna go ahead and free the cache just as a case in point just to demonstrate this okay so the query pan is the query plan is empty you will have people who will put that in their uh, command stream okay so now let's go ahead and call this 
And let's go ahead and call the procedure here. And we'll notice we only have one plan. Okay. Again, let's free the cache. Let's remove this statement, set Arithabort on. Save, execute. Okay. And let's execute here. And let's look at the plans. And we have two. Query plans do. Okay. So now this is where it depends. So some developers will go ahead and they will just add uh, that sit Aritha board on to the query string, and that is the solution. And uh, one of our senior developers, it was about four weeks ago, that was his solution. Um, he had done it plenty of times. He wasn't going to go further. And I know some of you may be like, well, that's not actually a solution. I would actually agree with that, but here is the key. Um, when you go through these query plans, and you evaluate them. In the case of our example, and I, I used my own time just to compare, um, what I found was that the way the index was being used um, for the stored procedure was not the same for both plans. But that digging around can take a while. And if you just throw set arithabort on here, how long does it take? Mm, five seconds, right? So his logic was, I'm getting paid, you know, seventy to eighty dollars an hour. I'm not going to sit there and waste company time on that. Of course, I used my own time and, and solved the problem. But yes, if let's say it took an hour and a half at seventy dollars an hour, uh, that's a hundred and that's a hundred and five dollars. So it again, it it always depends on your environment. And so my solution would be to dig a little bit deeper, compare these query plans, see what's going on. Um, in general, one of the things that we say in, in troubleshooting this type of situation, you generally will set the Arithabort options in Management Studio to off to where it matches the application. Um, but I'm not going to sit there and in, encourage, and by the way, you can Google information on the internet. I'm not going to encourage people to get in debates and fights and arguments to where now the departments hate each other. And if the senior developer wanted to do it his, his way, that was fine. That was great. Um, we both have a disagreement. I'll dig a little bit deeper, but on the flip side, um, it's not worth getting into an interdepartmental war. And for those of you who've worked in that environment where you have developers who absolutely hate each other, you know that leads later on to people not getting anything done. So you can look at these uh, these query plans. Your environment will probably be totally different when you look at them. Um, like I said, in our situation, it was how the index was being used was very different. And so then we went and troubleshooted uh, that further. I would start, if you're going to dig deeper other than just throwing the set Aritha board on here, um, I would start looking at um, query plans in terms of .NET versus Management Studio and adjusting it accordingly. So that covers part three today. That should give you a, a, just an example. Uh, the big takeaways here. Um, if you're looking for the quick fix solution and you don't want to waste e any more than 10 seconds, yeah, you can just do set Arithabort on. You can match the application to Management Studio. It should be of note that's technically not a solution. Um, the solution would be to dig deeper into these query plans, but it will depend on your environment and it will depend on you and your other developers' approach. Not worth declaring war with each other over.